Another great start to today. Breakfast sandwiches from uh, Trent's Grocery. Really hit the spot. That helped us get up a short little climb. Now we're at mile 616 basically, just a few miles away from the Wapiti shelter. I think we're trying to do about 20 miles today. We have an option to do even a little more or a little less. So we'll kind of dial that in as we get a little closer, see how we're feeling. We're noticing that the, uh, the elevation gain is a little bit easier here in Virginia so far but uh, the trail can still be rocky and difficult, kind of slow going. So we never know quite what to expect until we get there. But I'm carrying an extra biscuit sandwich. So any difficulties, I can always use that. Wow, what a beautiful section. Yeah. Suddenly we're in a pine forest. Wow, just like that, it changes. One of the great things about being out here on the trail, no doubt about it. Wow. made it to the uh, Wapiti shelter. We're going to enjoy our biscuits and I packed out a Coke. We finished up our lovely break at the Wapiti shelter and we've got about a mile to the water source uh, that we're gonna stop at. It's a big spring because we're, uh, we're heading up. This is our big climb for the day. I think it's almost a couple thousand feet in less than two miles. So. Should be a pretty good climb. Uh, we've been down low all morning, now we're going up high. So we're looking forward to it. We're working our way toward the Docks Knob Shelter, which apparently has a deck. So we're looking forward to that, but I wanna see what that's all about. Um, I don't think we're gonna stay there, we're gonna push past, but we'll see what this trail looks like on the way up. A lot of creek crossings and a lot of water and rhododendron so far. It's been beautiful down here. Watch my step. And it's gonna be a hot one today, mid 70s. I think this is about the hottest it's been since I've been on trail. We're filling up all our water here. I'm taking a, a liter and three quarters, I guess. Um, we got an eight mile waterless section of trail here, so. Kind of like it's been the last few days. We just get uh, high on top of that ridge and it makes for some usually decent hiking, but zero water. So this is part of the planning. Good thing we know. We got our water and now we're moving up about uh, one more mile to the top of this big climb. So that spring gave us a little chance to uh, take a break as well. So that was nice. All the little things. All right. Let's get this last mile done. Well, that wasn't too bad. We made it to the top. Nice and sweaty now. And this is just a taste of what summer has in store. Let's get through spring first.
We're coming up to a Doc's Knob shelter and uh, I checked this out online and this is uh, one of the more unique shelters that I've seen. I'll take a look when we get a little closer. We're just gonna have a snack here and then move on. This here makes uh, 18 for the day, I believe. It was a short stop at the shelter and it was uh, there were a few people there so I didn't get to film, but it has got a nice little deck and uh, it's a nice little shelter area, Doc's Knob. But we decided we're gonna push on. We're gonna try to do 24 miles today. And that would get us to uh, the Paris Cliffs area. A uh, nice little tent area. Um, I'll put the mileage down here. I'm not sure what it is right now. So that's what we're doing. We should be there before dark and we're on our way. We got some downs, we got some ups and probably everything in between. Uh, but we're gonna try to try to get there quickly. Supposed to be a one of the best views in Virginia. Stunning was the word. We finished our our last big climb of the day. We're up here on this beautiful ridge with great views on both sides, really. Um, but even better than that, we're only a couple of miles from camp and we should be set up to have a great sunrise in the morning. This day just keeps getting better. Made it to camp, no problems. Biggest day so far, 24 miles. Um, well, that's not true. I did 24 miles, but it was down into Damascus. Much, much easier trail. This was tough. Um, but you know what? I gotta say, it's getting easier. Uh, we're definitely getting conditioned. Um, these uphills sometimes feel good. You know, your heart's racing, it's pumping, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. My legs want to go up that mountain. Uh, today was exactly like that. It was great getting up here. Um, we're not. Uh, we're right here by the spring. Uh, I'll put the mile down here below. I'm not sure exactly where we are. We're two point two off trail, but uh, it's time for dinner. I am hungry. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. It's another beautiful morning out here on the AT. We're coming down from the Paris Cliffs and uh, Angel's Rest. We're heading into Parisburg to resupply, get some food, of course, and uh, check out the sights of uh, Parisburg, Virginia. So after the 24 yesterday, uh, we're not gonna do a big mile day today, of course. I think the total of miles today might be something like 10. We've got about two or three into town and then seven out of town. So that's what our day's gonna look like. It's mainly going to be spent in Parisburg, doing the resupply, getting ready for uh, the Virginia Triple Crown that is coming up uh, on the trail. So I'm really looking forward to the Triple Crown. It's one of the uh, highlights of the AT here in Virginia. And we gotta make sure we make the right decisions now so we're prepared for that. Plus we got the happy campers are leaving here, uh, I think in a couple days. Uh, they'll be visiting some friends, taking a zero, and I'll be moving up to do the uh, Dragon's Tooth and everything north of that for, for a while till we meet back up again. We're just about to the road and now we got a hitch. We're not sure how we're gonna do it with three people. We're gonna try with three. And if not, we'll break up into two groups later. But we'll give it a go. Yet another resupply in the books. 
If you lay all your food out on the sidewalk in front of the grocery store, you might be hiker trash. Well, we finished up at the Chinese buffet and we moved on to Dairy Queen. So we're slowly, slowly making our way out of town. We didn't have much of a problem hitching into town, but uh, no luck so far on the way out of town. So we're just heading down the highway. It's only about a mile, a little over a mile. So not too bad. We had a good trip overall there in Parisburg. Checked all the boxes, got everything we needed, probably even a little more than what we need. So we should be good. Heading to the trail now. Check back in when we get there. So we're still on the climb up, a few thousand feet. This is one of the bigger climbs we've had since, well, I don't know. It's tough though. It's not all pizza and ice cream out here on the AT. Some of it's this right here. It's about 80 degrees today too, so it's adding to the difficulty, adding to the adventure, which will ultimately add to the enjoyment when we're done. We're making our way to a rice field shelter. Great views. All right, we're getting ready for bed. I just wanna say, this is a great shelter. Um, just in a great location, great views. It's almost like we're on a bald. I mean, it's just great. Yeah, one of the best shelters so far on the AT. Highly recommend this. If you can stay here, highly recommend it. Um, but we're gonna get to bed. Uh, it was a short day today. Nice time in Parisburg, uh, 10 miles. So it was kind of a Nero for us. That's the way we look at it. And yeah. We're gonna be high on the ridge tomorrow. We've got a big water carry to start off. We know that. And uh, we're gonna get things together, get some rest, get ready for tomorrow.